everyone, and welcome to Embok Home Baking. I'm Jessica Ting from Miss Shortcakes, and today's recipe is going to be a pavlova. So the first thing that we need to prepare are, of course, our egg whites, and they must be completely clean. So the most successful way is to crack a whole egg into a bowl, pick up the yolk, shake off any excess egg white, and then I'm going to pop the yolk into the bowl. All the egg whites go in. Before we start adding in the sugar, it's very important that your egg white actually doubles in volume. Okay, so we'll have to start the machine on full speed to get it going. My bowl was super clean, my egg whites were at the correct temperature and it's now time to start raining in your sugar. I can see that it's starting to get thick and glossy and that's exactly what you want. So while that's going, I'm going to prepare my baking tray. I've got parchment paper that I need to stick down. So I will use a little bit of softened butter just so that your paper doesn't fly. Then, with my parchment paper, I'm going to use a bowl and with a pencil, I'm just going to trace around the bowl. And I'm going to make two pavlovas and I'll also give about maybe two inches of space in between each other so it has room to expand. Now, because I've used a pencil, I don't want it to touch my pavlova. So I'm going to be placing it pencil side down onto the tray. Okay, let's have a check and see how the meringue is going. It looks good. Oh, it's still very soft. Do you see how it just flops back? It's not ready yet. The last step is to put in your flavorings. I have lemon juice, which will also help to keep the meringue glossy, to keep the meringue dry on the outside, and good vanilla. Okay, it's done. One final check, just to be sure. Dip it in, and voila, beautiful. Okay, so we have one more test to make sure that your meringue is at the correct consistency. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of courage, but trust me, if your meringue is correctly whipped up, this will be all good. Okay, one, two, three. All good. It stayed in the bowl, not on my head. The final step is to add in our corn flour, okay? So we need to measure out two teaspoons of corn flour. Okay, so we're sifting in the corn flour now. And the corn flour will help make the marshmallow effect inside the meringue nest. So now it's a bit of folding action. Scrape the sides of the bowl right down to the end. You don't want to knock any air out. Once you can see that the corn flour is completely mixed through the mix, it's done. Okay, so we're just going to divide the meringue into two piles. Okay, I'm going to start drawing it upwards just to give it a bit more height. See how beautiful that is? And we're done. So now straight into the oven. Your oven must be preheated at 90 degrees C and we're going to bake it for approximately 90 minutes. And then after the 90 minutes is up, we're going to switch off the oven and leave it in there to cool down for another 30 minutes. And it's done. Okay, after an hour and a half in the oven, my pavlova is already ready and it's already cooled down. The next step is to do our garnishes. Now, to prepare our meringues, we have to trim off the top shell and that's going to go directly on top of your serving plate. Then I need to whip up some cream. Now, my bowl is already frozen. That's been pre-prepared. And I'm just going to pour the whole carton in of the Embok whipping cream. So let that go on full speed. I've got berries, I've got raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries, and I've also got passion fruit. Okay, my whipped cream is done, and it's time to decorate. Okay, so first, we'll start with a little bit of cream inside, and then we're gonna fill up the cavity with some fresh fruits that we prepared earlier, and we're going to top it off with more whipped cream. Now, for the top part, I'm going to choose the prettier fruits because that's what people are going to see. And now for the final touch, our passion fruit. It's so pretty. I love making a pavlova. And here it is, my beautiful pavlova is ready to be served. Wasn't that recipe simple and easy to follow? This pavlova is perfect for any special occasion or you can also have it as a dessert. 
Find this full recipe online. So happy baking, guys!